Hey there, I'm Dr. Ethan, and today we're going to take a look at SCP-578, Blood Opals. This particular item falls under the object class of safe, but don't let that fool you, it's still got some pretty interesting properties. So, let's dive in and see what makes these blood opals so special. SCP-578, also known as blood opals, is stored in standard safe class anomalous liquid tanks. Any personnel, with the exception of D-Class under controlled testing, must wear level C hazmat suits when handling SCP-578. Any new instances of SCP-578-1 must be documented and subsequently disposed of. SCP-578 exhibits anomalous properties upon contact with human blood. Initially, the substance rapidly spreads throughout the blood, facilitated by its enzyme, leading to a clotting cascade and subsequent crystallization of the blood. This crystallized blood is denoted as an instance of SCP-578-1, and approximately 1.7 milliliters of SCP-578 is needed to fully convert a liter of blood. The chemical structure of SCP-578-1 resembles opals, consisting of hydrated silica. Throughout the crystallization process, blood cell clots become ensnared within the SCP-578-1 structure, resulting in a vivid red coloration. Scientific tests have confirmed that the absence of these blood clots in the SCP-578-1 structure leads to a considerably weaker structure. With a hardness of 6.8 on the Mohs scale and a melting point of 1020 degrees Celsius, SCP-578-1 cannot convert more blood and can be handled without protective gear. During a Foundation raid on a Marshall, Carter, and AMP, Dark Limited facility, SCP-578 in several hundred instances of SCP-578-1 were initially uncovered. This facility had been used as a production site for various items made of SCP-578-1, although the exact process used by MC and AMP winking and laughing to create SCP-578 remains unknown. We at Marshall Carter and Dark specialize in catering to an exclusive clientele with refined tastes. We understand that individuals of your caliber seek only the highest quality jewelry, which is why we are proud to present our extraordinary blood opals. These unique gems are crafted from the sap of human veins and set into stunning pieces of jewelry, showcasing the perfect blend of art and luxury. In ancient Greek mythology, the ichor of the god's veins was said to grant mortals agelessness and immortality. Similarly, Blood opals are believed to exude an aura of rejuvenation and regeneration, bringing vitality to the wearer and adding vibrancy to their life. This holiday season, express your love and appreciation for that special someone with a unique and meaningful gift. What better way to show you care than with a piece of jewelry that symbolizes life and vitality? Item hashtag, 0676 recovery date, forward slash, forward slash, Item Description, a 2.1-meter tall statue of a human cardiovascular system made from SCP-578-1. The statue is mounted on a 0.3-meter granite base and shows minimal tool marks except for those around the metal supports attaching it to the base. It is believed that the item was created by injecting SCP-578 into a living human, as it would not be possible to create the statue using a dead body. 